against a death knight i think if i just gain a crap load of armor it'll be okay i want to keep frozen buckler and shield shatter because it's just an insane combo to have together i feel like i don't even really need any other cards frozen buckler and shield shatter is just so good frozen buckler and then shield slam and shield shatter is even better the problem with this matchup is that their damage is a lot whoa that I did not expect at all, I will have you know. They are probably going green then, which is super weird. Drink for me on my birthday again, Pog. I only got three, four happy birthdays. Well, I'm wishing you happy birthday, and that's all that matters. You got your boy Ecor100 wishing you happy birthday. I mean, this is just water. If you want me to get like an actual drink drink, I don't know if I'll do that right now. I'm kind of popping off win rate wise. I don't want to disrupt my flow man i don't even know if i want to play shield shatter against these but i also think that maybe i should conqueror's banner we'll probably outdraw them shield shatter Mwah, chef's kiss awesome no not sir finley that was useless draw me more than two cards. okay cool Mwah. awesome and if i go shield shatter on this board I feel like that's just not very good. I'll wait one more turn and then I'll shield shatter. I'm down to take a little bit more damage. I really am. If they don't play another minion, then I guess that this was kind of a misplay, but there's school teacher. Coin out the noggling. I dare you. Coin out the noggling and then the shield shatter is insane. I mean, they know I have a shield shatter in hand, but they don't know I have the frozen buckler. They're probably not going to coin it out. I wouldn't if I were them, because I know I've shield shatter. I might, yeah, yeah. So it's gonna be boom into boom. Now you see, the problem is, as much as I want to play Sir Finley here, and I actually do, I don't know if it's the correct thing to do. I like several of the cards, but my hand is so expensive, and this deck doesn't really need that much removal. I'm gonna do that. And we're gonna and we're gonna start getting new things. We can trade away the hammer. Maybe if we get two hammers, we can trade away both. We do get two hammers actually. We can trade away both of them, which is pretty solid. Uh, let's just get two new cards real quick, and then boom and then boom. We get bash, which is nice. We have still a shield slam. We have bash. We have lava gorger to get a uh, shield shatter off from the bottom of the deck. And I don't have either title revenant, which definitely is a bit of a bummer, but. Theotar will be nice. We can give them like a brawl because it's useless to us and it's useless to them. We're good here. Hey man, good point. Happy birthday from the goaded Hearthstone streamer with the sauce is all I really need in life. Well, dueling Prisma. Um, you're already a member, so I can't really gift you a membership. I don't even know how to do that. <laughs> I could I could make you a mod. You know what? Happy birthday. You're a moderator now. If you abuse the power, I will ban you. Um but congratulations, you've made it. You've officially made it. I'm gonna kill it off with Bash. We're gonna play Lava Gorger. We get a uh, Shield Shatter. And then, like I said, it's gonna be Bash here. We're just gaining as much armor as we can to stay alive. We'll draw some cards, trade them away. No big deal. I mean, I guess Brawl might not even end up being that useless to me, but we'll see. Happy birthday, Dueling Charisma. Congratulations. I'm not gonna do this for just anybody's birthday, by the way. It's just that Dueling Charisma's here like every single day. He's donated a ton and he's been a fan for a long time. I feel like I should have made him a mod a while ago, to be quite honest with you. I feel like there are a couple of other names that I should have on my radar to make mods. Why run the Vicious Slither Spear though? I feel like that's not a great card, but maybe I'm wrong. I think next turn it's going to be Weapons Expert, Weapons Expert, Shield Slam on this. Howling Blast? That's a little bit rude. They're losing a decent amount of damage, maybe? <clears throat> I want to keep Shield Shatter. It would feel weird to go Shield Slam on it, I feel like. Especially considering Shield Shatter is going to get worse and worse as the game goes on because I'm going to have less reliable ways of gaining a ton of armor. Then again, that's gonna make Shield Slam worse too. I'm just gonna Shield Slam it. The other one ones don't really matter too much. Let's just uh, let's just draw two cards and then Shield Slam this. It's okay. We'll we'll trade away the hammers. We might even play the hammer. I'm not sure. If we can gain enough armor, I think that it'll be fine. You literally made my day. Thank you so much. No problem, Dueling Charisma. I appreciate you. I appreciate you so showing up every single day. I need to trade away both of these. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Is what shield shatter is for to destroy the five five, and then we're going to trade away both of the weapons and then play Theotar, I believe. Gold Shire Null? Do I really want to give him a Gold Shire Null? The answer is no, not really. We'll trade this, see what we get first. We get a bash. Do I even want to play Shield Shatter? Is it worth it to me? So maybe I just chill for a moment and I just play you, kill off the 5-5 five, five, and I play and I trade this one more time. And then I'm going to play you. We get our own Astellar, which is pretty good. Slam into that. I need to save Shield Shatter. We want to play Theotar. Oh, they sell the coin, but the coin doesn't matter because Aslar that needs to be mana thirsted. So I'm going to try to steal it. I want them to play more cards. This one Shield Shatter is really going to pop off, I think. Oh, I'm not actually going to be able to play the cards, am I? And I guess I could probably play it. Ow. That's pretty rough. Oh my god. I mean, I can hero power Shield Shatter and that could be my whole turn, maybe. If I play Bash Shield Shatter, I feel like that's not good. I think what I should do is just go Gold Shatter and Null, Bash, and then Astellar, and I feel like that's just way better. Bash this, Astellar this, this kills the five. We'll play Theotar next turn to steal their thing and then give them ideally a Brawl, hopefully. Hopefully we're able to give them a Brawl. Even a Shield Shatter would be like, okay. I just need to not give them Astellar. At work right now, but I'll donate 20 or more memberships in an hour or so if your stream is still going. If you want memberships, be sure to sh uh, have your YouTube uh, settings gifted on or settings with gifted on. Fair enough. If people want memberships, I mean, Aloran, thank you so much. And he's good for him. I mean, whenever he says he's going to do that, they always do it. So what privileges do you get as a modder? Basically, you can um, hide messages. You can put people in timeout. You can hide people on the channel. Uh, like, if there's a bot that shows up, instead of hiding a message, you could hide everything. Oh, boy. It's not good. Interesting. I think I'm gonna go Theotar. Because I need to get rid of their card. I don't want to give them Rokara. Literally, Brawl or Shield Shatter. We'll take Astellar from them. So I don't take nearly as much damage, and I'll give them Brawl because it's useless to them. Next turn, it's going to be Rokara, Shield Shatter, and I don't think I lose the game anymore. I actually think that I win pretty handily from this point on. We have insane armor gain off of you. We have more off of you. We have a good board wipe off of this. Even if they deal damage and freeze my board, I know that they have a little bit of draw. They do have a, a gifted Glacial Advance that is a decent amount of damage, and they have 8 damage showing right now with 10 mana. But one of their cards is a Brawl, one is a Baron, which draws them a card. Icy Touch, we get rid of that with the Rokara. So, like, I'm not super worried about it. Actually, maybe I should have paid attention more to the cards they had in their hand, because I know one was a Fury, and I forget what the other one was. I, it was either an Icy Touch or a Baron. I don't remember if it was a Glacial Advance. Actually, this is one of the pluses of streaming. Uh, I can go back and I can actually check the stream from a couple of moments ago and just see what it was. Admittedly, it's a bit of a cheat. Oh, it is Glacial Advance. That's crazy. Okay. For some reason, I didn't think it was Glacial Advance. It's okay. Rokara, gain four armor, wipe the board. Theotar does very little. Glacial Advance into Frostroom's Fury. Luckily for me, I have another Shield Shatter, so it doesn't really matter. Oh. No, never mind. I'm trolling. That's a good amount of damage, though. I can't even hate on this. This is, this is solid. Smack. We play Rokara, and then we're going to Hero Power this, and then we're going to play Shield Shatter. Hero Power this, gain four more. Then we're going to Shield Shatter, and then with the mana, or with the attack I have left, I'll hit the three into them, I guess. It's not a big deal, but might as well just kill it off. I can play you next turn with the Hero Power. I can play this next turn to gain some armor. I mean, they have used up a decent amount of their damage. They didn't play the uh, Lady Death Whisperer, or whatever her name is, so they didn't duplicate a lot of their damage spells, so I feel relatively safe. Uh, but yeah, I think we're in a good spot. They got Lady Death Whisperer now, but I feel like it's a bit late at this point to be getting that. I mean, nothing against it. It's gonna probably be... I wanna say they're gonna play the Frostrum's Fury next turn. 
I mean, if they have another glacial advance, it's gonna be like four, four, and then Frostroom's Fury. And then let's say they have two Icy Touches. Let's say it's Icy Touch, Icy Touch, Frostroom's Fury, two Glacial Advantage. That's four, four, it's eight, 13, uh, 15, 17. They have 17 damage, like max. So I think Astellar is not even that bad. Let's just play it and then shoot him in the face and then maybe kill him with their own ass Delar. No, wait, they can't play Astellar with their own five, five in a little bit. It'll be close. I don't know for why there. They got three extra spells, like I said, but I think it's okay. Like I said, they've got like 17 damage max. Astellar next turn with shield block, I think is the way to go. They have to freeze or kill the 8-8. Horn of Winter. Oh wait, they are gonna freeze it. What am I talking about? Of course they, they freeze it with the Frostroom's Fury. We have armor, armor, this. Boom, plus boom, plus boom. This is gonna be what? 13 extra HP. Oh, that's really good for them actually. Into Frostroom's Fury. What if I kill my own minion to gain armor? Cause I know that they're not really gonna do anything going forward. Gain more armor. No, wait, first hit. You wanna hit and take the damage first. Then gain armor. Gain more armor. And then honestly kill off my own card so I can gain even more armor. Because I think that's most important. It's just surviving. They've got a Frost Rome Fury. They've got two Glacial Advances. Maybe. I think maybe one of them's a Horn. I think one of them has to be a Horn. So that limits their damage by quite a bit. Astellar next turn. Maybe with Conqueror's Banner. Maybe Hero Power. I don't know. Vampiric Blood to gain more HP. I mean... They're definitely surviving this game for quite a while, ladies and gentlemen. Frost Rome's Fury again. This is what Astellar is for. And then if anything lives and we can Hero Power, that'd be pretty solid as well. So it's going to be Astellar into Hero Power. Another 8-8 is pretty good. And I just don't think they have the damage to beat me anymore. Got it. The game I want is called $60 Dono to Igor. Thanks. You don't have to do that. <laughs> it's literally your birthday. You don't have to donate money to me on your birthday. But if you do, go to exclamation point challenge and go through Jester. Because Jester is somebody that I am in good relations with. Like, I talk with people there. Um, it's pretty nice. I, I like Jester a lot. I really do. I'm not even paid to say that anymore. <laughs> like I was during, during the tournaments. But I just genuinely like them a bunch. Ideally, the five goes down to two. Pog champ! That's broken. That's insane. We have both of our title revenants at the bottom, which is a bit of a bummer for sure. But if we can draw the other Lava Gorger and gain more armor, that would be insane. They're just going to pass and lose the game. Fair enough. Cool. This deck is surprisingly not bad. I like Bash and I like Weapons Expert. I played against a couple of Demon Hunters now that run minions and go more aggro. Wait, maybe I'm mixing them up with Hunter. Demon Hunter, Hunter. They both have Hunter in the name. Gosh darn it, I always forget. Oh, I guess it could also be Rogue. But like I said, I wanted to keep Bash. This turn three is good. This turn four is good. Eventually we'll trade away um, the Blacksmithing Hammer. Okay, you are Quest Demon Hunter. Oh, for some reason, I thought that they skipped their turn one, and I was like, oh, they didn't play the quest, but that's that's my bad. I was just not paying attention. Uh, this turn three, this turn four, hopefully we can find something that's six or more. I mean, a four mana, three, five taunt with dredge and also ideally gain like six armor is kind of insane. I mean, anything five or above is good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Genuinely, insanely good cards. Another play weapons expert, put a minion on the board to apply a little bit of pressure. Also drawing something specifically is draw is better than drawing a general card because if we end up drawing both of our weapons somehow naturally, um, then the specific draw isn't very useful. Hold on to your dust guy. Oh yeah, for sure. Should I craft carry No, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Save your dust. I would not craft carry now because I think new cards are probably gonna come out at the beginning of April, one, two and a half months away. So, and also, since there are nerfs and buffs that are probably going to come out, the meta will shift even just now. So I would definitely say hold off on it. Blacksmithing Hammer will eventually be a win condition, but not one right now. We drew both of them. See, this is exactly what I'm saying. If we accidentally drew both of them, and this was the weapons expert, it wouldn't be as good. 
It's not as big of a deal with the weapon that has tradable, but just in general, I would say use your more general stuff first. So now I have to think about what I want. And I want... Actually, I already have a Shield Shatter in hand. Rokara is really strong, but I also like Tidal Revenant a lot. But I feel like I need a turn seven play, so I guess I'll end up playing you, or taking you. Even though I liked Tidal Revenant a lot. Tidal Revenant turn eight gains me more armor. Rokara also gains me more armor. And I feel like there's a world where if I just refuse to play minions, or at least big minions, then I don't even end up dying to Demon Hunter. Like they can't get through my armor if I never play cards. If I never play cards, they lose. If I play cards, and it's like a weapon and I slam them in the face a couple of times, they're gonna eventually lose. So I'm pretty content with my position here. I'll hold out till April. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Especially because everything's gonna rotate out and it's gonna be a brand new meta. Basically, if you're not buying cards within the first month of the new expansion being released in December, I basically just say don't craft anything because everything is gonna change really, really soon. It's not like this for any of the other expansions. Usually I'm like, just craft whatever you want or buy whatever you want. But in this particular situation, I don't think it's a good strategy. Boom, plus boom. We're never gonna play Galvangar unless it's literally the card to win me the game. We'll draw an extra card. We'll get a blacksmithing hammer. Um, and we're just gonna keep trading it away. We're just gonna keep trading it away until after Rokara's weapon is gone. And then after Rokara's weapon's gone, then we'll do something. Oh wait, I just realized right now that it isn't the scythe. Uh-oh. I don't really care about that much. I can I can just bash it. It's not a big deal. I'll just boop. I guess I can play Astellar instead. I guess that means it's okay for me to play minions because they're not running the Steno version. Which is kind of interesting. Trade. We get a Lava Gorger, this to kill the 2-2. Two -two. I think I'll just Hero Power. Because this way I technically gain more total armor, because I can play Heavy Plate later on at some point. I'll have the mana to do it. I mean, we're getting pretty late into the game. I'm gonna hear, I'm gonna play Rokara, and I'm gonna smack their 5-5 five five back into their face. It's not a big deal, but it's something. They have the coins, so I'm able to play my Astellar before they're able to play their Astellar, or at least for maximum damage, which is pretty solid. Boom, then this hits their 5-5, five five. they take five damage. They have life steal, so it's not gonna be that big of a deal, but it's still something. Then we have insane armor gain with this, and then this, and even you and Bash. We're in a great spot right now when, when dealing with this Demon Hunter. I'm trying to think if there's anything I want to change in this deck, and I really don't think so. I think this deck is quite solid. Maybe one or two more hand interaction cards, but I don't know. This has to be a Shield Shatter turn. Absolutely has to be a Shield Shatter turn. It's the only way that I could see this actually working out. Because later on they're going to play like Bash or something. I don't really even want to play Theotar now. Boom. Shield Shatter. I just wanted to gain army before it died anyway. And then we'll go Astellar. I guess I could go this and get Tidal Revenant. And have two mana left over to play something. But I don't really need to do that. But I kind of want to get Tidal Revenant sooner rather than later. So I can just play it. And Shield Shatter is not really going to be helpful anymore. Because Relic of Phantasm is going to be five and six which means that I'm gonna need Brawl to deal with them, which I have one, so that's cool. We're gonna play that and we're gonna take Tidal Revenant and we're gonna hold on to this weapon charge. I'm not gonna even play this. I think I might trade away Heavy Plate though. Yeah, we'll trade it away, it's fine. We actually have the damage to kill them in like a turn or two. I guess maybe what I could have done was push damage face two, five, they got down to 13. But I just, I don't think that they have what it takes to kill me. And I knew that they were gonna probably heal eventually. Hero power to hit this. Maybe we don't even end up playing Tidal Revenant. Also, we can play Captain Galvangar. Because, again, they're not going the Steno build. They're going the older spell damage with Jace build, which I am perfectly fine with. We're going to go Bonk and play Captain Galvangar for maximum mana efficiency. And just go face for nine. Got a good amount of armor here, too. I was rank. I was... One rank away with Curse Imp Lock from hitting Legend today, then got tilted. I've been there. We've all been there. Getting tilted and losing your cool and losing a lot of games because of it is definitely something a lot of people have definitely gone through. So don't don't feel upset too much. Just know that you just take a deep breath, 
play again like tomorrow and you'll be good to go. Try to steal Jace. Fair enough, they've had a card in their hand since turn three. I want them to play their coin first. Oh shoot. Wait, these are insane. Uh oh. Oh. That's not good. Uh oh. What am I going to do? I mean, I guess I can just keep gaining armor because they're going to run out of cards before I will. And then again, just keep. What are you doing? I think I just, like I said, keep gaining armor. Dispose of evidence. They get rid of a card. They got rid of that card instantly. Which I guess makes sense because they want to reduce the cost of it. Oh, Dispose of Evidence is actually kind of sick. I didn't even realize that, but it's actually really, really good. They run minions in the deck, so I don't really have to worry too much about this. We're going to go Tidal Revenant and then slam this into their face. And then I guess raid this away real quick. And I guess I can gain armor, but there's no real reason to. Let's just trade that away. Shield Slam. Okay, I kind of wish I would Shield Slammed it first, because then I could have done five more damage to their face. That was my bad. You're supposed to trade first. You're supposed to draw first whenever you can. That was my bad for not doing it. We're going to play Astellar sooner rather than later. If they play their Astellar, I will try to steal it, I guess. If they don't play their Astellar... Wait, am I dumb? Oh, they sent Astellar back. That's the card they... Oh, because they want to reduce its cost to play it with Bran. Okay, that's fine. That's fair, I guess. Five more damage going face. They're doing some decent chunk damage, but it's not that big of a deal. Shield Slam again. We're going to play Astellar and try to win the game in two turns. What are you swarming with, Mean Murlocs? Try to steal Jace? I mean, again, I, I could try to steal Jace with this right now and give him, like, Shield Slam, which is fairly useless. They've had a card in their hand since turn three, but that either means it's going to be something really good or honestly, it's something that I can pass up on. I'm going to go... I mean, I guess I can just go Frozen Buckler. There's no way they burst me from here at this point. They haven't even finished their last part of their quest yet, so I think they're kind of doomed at this point. I want to empty a little bit of space. I can play Frozen Buckler, though. i got plenty of armor and, and stuff to deal with uh, their cards later on. I don't know. It's just if I played Theotar, I could end up getting like the coin and two bad options. I guess I would have stolen the um, reduced cost. But I don't think they have what it takes to win here. Also, I like that the animation to get the quest rewards into your hand uh, no longer exists. They just kind of go. Are they going to play a lifesteal weapon? Fury, Fury, doesn't really matter too much. Can they kill me from this point? I would say no. They can't play- oh, I guess they could play Jace, maybe? Oh! Oh, no! If they play Jace, there's still no world that's enough damage. Oh, wait, it could be enough damage. Oh, no. Wait, that's gonna be so much damage? Wait, why would you not play your spell damage things first? Guild Traders should be free. Wait, what's happening? Why would you not play that? Are you trolling? I mean, you're gonna do a lot of damage. But I'm gonna, I mean, do I even need to play Astalar? They play Astalar for zero. Wait, what? Wasn't it still the armor Astalar? Am I trolling? Am I misremembering something? I thought, what? Oh, that is not good. Oh, that is not good. I mean, if they have no cards, I just draw three off of this, right? I want to get Shield Slams to kill both. I don't know what other things that they could possibly do. They have a Dispose of Evidence. They can draw a card. Now let's just draw three cards. I think that this is how this works. Sir Finley's cool. This animation takes a while, though. I'm hoping for... Okay, we can play two Bashes. Potentially. And a Shield Block. We can go Shield Block, Bash, Shield Slam, Shield Slam. Yeah, they're just going to retreat. They're in Fatigue. There's not really much else they can do. That was wild, though. I didn't realize they had played their Astlord, their Protector, yet. Uh, we don't want the Null, but we want early removal. This hand's actually phenomenal for dealing with a, um, a Hunter, I believe. Good early game removal to kill the minions. I wanted to run Rustrop Viper, but I don't. You know, I actually do want to take out one or two cards and put in something to interact with their hand, because Shock Spitter Hunter does have a lot of damage. Candle shot. Wow. Starting off strong with the candle shot. 
Let's go. That's going to be a huge amount of pumps. I put in Lady in order to help against mid-range and kind of slower matchups. But the more I think about it, the more I realize that like, hey, wait a minute, maybe Lady isn't correct. Maybe I need to run like Theotar or some sort of disruption. I just like Lady because she helps with the blacksmithing hammers and even Rokara's blade uh, so much. And this is a more weapon focused deck. So I feel like she fit in there pretty well. But at the end of the day, maybe I take her out. You're just playing Astlar right away. Oh man, this is what Bash is for though, right? Bash. Gain some armor. But yeah, their Astlar's going to be able to just destroy me, isn't it? Oh, man. Literally no interaction with this hunter. They're just going to play weapons, hit me in the face, maybe not even play that many minions, and then eventually just win the game. It's so fun. Okay. I'm okay with that. I don't even know if I necessarily need to bash that. I kind of want to just play Goldshire Knoll in a turn and kill it off, maybe. Tidal Revenant, where we're going to coin that out turn 7. And next turn, it'll be this for 3. No, it'll probably be this for 4. And then turn 5 will be this plus Bash, most likely. I'm hoping to find a big card. Rokara, Tidal Revenant, this, this, or that. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 really, really good cards uh, that we want. We have like a 1 in 4 chance of getting something that's 6 or more. I'd be okay with Brawl as well. Anything less than Brawl would be a travesty. We're going to play the Lava Gorger. We find a Tidal Revenant. We will take it. Even though Frost Buckler is a lot of armor, that's going to also be a lot of armor here. At some point, we're going to need to trade away the uh, the weapon. Real? The bright sign that doesn't actually matter that much to me. Maybe we play Lady. Oh, you were willing to take the damage for that? That's weird. I don't know if I really like that play. Let's trade this way, see what we get first. We get Heavy Plate, which I do want to use for survivability. It will slam into that. It'll go to three. I don't know if I want to trade this away or not. Kind of thinking I don't, because I'm going to need the armor. I might as well keep it. But yeah, this deck is a mix of I really like it and I really don't. I'm thinking about taking out one Forged in Flame for a Theotar or a um, Call to the Stand or whatever it's called. Yeah, I think it's called Call to the Stand. I don't know, because I only have three weapons in the deck. I don't want to play Forged in the Flame or Forged in Flame to destroy multiple of them. I actually have a decent amount of draw with um, Shield Block and Dredge. And I guess Dredge isn't technically draw. I don't know. Oh, yuck. But yeah, I need to run Interaction. I think maybe running or taking out both Forged in Flames for... Um, could have some good points. Because if I take out both Fortune and Flame, and I run, and I take out Lady Ashvane, even though I really like her, take out those three cards, put in the two mana draw cards if they cost more, and then like Theotar, I think that's more draw, it's some hand interaction, and I think overall it'll be better. I think ultimately I'm gonna have to do this to deal two damage. This is not the uh, Blood Sea, because it's fine, and then we'll gain eight armor off of this. They have attacked every single turn. Shock Spitter Hunter is going to absolutely obliterate me. Absolutely obliterate me. And that is not a fun thing to look forward to. We're going to gain more armor. They actually hit 10 mana before I do, so Astlar is another way that they can win off of that. Goldshire Knoll. Trying to think about what I need to do here. You're solid. And then I coin out Astellar because I'm not going to coin out a Tidal Revenant anyway. Might as well to get an extra minion out on the board. And then we get to kill off this and that. And get Astellar. Yeah, I'm down for that. This goes here, this goes there. We can gain armor next turn. I mean, even if they go brand, double activate, double activate, how much damage is that going to be? They've attacked every single turn, so that's one, two, three... Four, five. I think they skipped one, six, seven, eight, nine. It's gonna do 10 damage, to, it's gonna do 40 damage. Can I survive 40 damage? And the answer is yes. Tidal Revenant almost gets me there. But also if they don't have Bran, it's not that big of a deal. Aslar has to get hit. I agree, I agree for sure. Who's your favorite actor? I don't really have a favorite actor. 
I don't know. I don't really know that many actors anyway. I don't remember their names very well. Oh god, it's gonna be Huffer always. Oh, it's not Huffer. Okay, okay. Hitting that. Shield Shatter, interesting. My prediction is it's gonna do a lot of damage to me. So let's go here. And then we'll hit with this, because if it is explosive, it's only gonna do three damage. And that's not gonna die. So they're gonna do 40 damage to me. If they have Bran and then both of these, like this has to be Bran specifically. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They've only attacked eight times actually. They've only attacked eight times actually. Cause this has three durability, this is two durability and they never honorably killed. So if they do do that, it's gonna be nine times four, which is 36. Wait, we already have more than 40 HP anyway. We just play Tidal Revenant and we slam him in the face. Wait, no, this is fine. We actually have plenty of armor right now. I didn't realize. But yeah, we're taking out Lady. She is definitely not okay. <laughs> she is definitely not it. They get Hopper. Definitely not ideal. They're gonna play Astellar soon, but I'm also gonna try to play Astellar soon. What do you do? Oh, you drew another weapon. You've drawn almost all of your weapons this early on in the game. That's absurd. Absurd. We play this. It gets countered. Doesn't matter. It's still going to cost zero and you live. What the heck? Okay, yeah, that's that's right. You do cost zero still. I was like, huh? Boom. You end up living. Gain some more armor. I guess we can trade this away first. Maybe I don't trade it away. I think I want to play it soon. Yeah, let's uh, just do 5, 10 damage to their face and keep the weapon because we can play it later. They're going to play Astellar and Hero Power. I'm going to play Astellar and Bash, maybe Frozen Buckler if I feel like I need to survive. Gets Leoc. That is the worst one. And then hopefully the 5-8 lives. If the 5-8 lives, we win for sure. 5-8 dies. Then I think it's still quite... Oh my gosh. Live. Live. It didn't live. Oh no. Oh no. I'm gonna play Astellar, and then if their Astellar doesn't die, I have to bash it. But even still, their thing is now gonna do, what, four times 11 damage? So it's 44, I have to have above 44 HP, which I can pretty easily do, actually. We'll see where all the damage ends up going, because I can't quite win yet. I can't quite win yet. We'll see where all the damage goes. Oh. Oh, sure. Okay, we'll do that then. You don't even have to worry about it. Cool. 